Hello, today we're going to be making a standard card starting with a craft base and I'm starting with some Mr. Huey's Heirloom Blue Color Mist and I'm just tapping some here to get some marks on my background here. And then we're going to get stamping. I'm using this new stamp set I got called Airmail. It's a Studio Calico and Hero Art set. I'm taking this small Polaroid image and I'm using my Distress Ink on this designer paper. And I'm just going to stamp this twice. And I'm using this designer paper since it has a distressed look already to it. So that way I didn't have to do any inking to get that look. Now I'm taking these two airplane images. I'm using Old Olive and Marina Mist ink from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to stamp these within the Polaroid image. And to do that I'm just going to use a scratch piece of paper here that has a straight edge. And I'm going to use that as my mask. So basically I'm covering the edge of the Polaroid where I'm going to stamp so that the stamp is partially in the Polaroid and not outside. And I misstamped that one there so I had to stamp it again. And so now I'm taking the blue and the outline image of the airplane and I'm doing the same thing. And this is just a quick and easy masking uh, technique without having to cut out that exact Polaroid shape. So I'm doing the same thing. Now I'm taking the solid plain image and doing the same stamping here. And this one I missed and I stamped outside the Polaroid on the bottom there because I didn't have a mask. But it actually looks okay so I just left it alone. So that's one negative to this technique. <laughs> so try it if you like. It's just a little shortcut. So now I cut those two Polaroids out and I'm sticking it here to my Lucky Limeade cardstock from Stampin' Up! And so I adhered the first one just with my ATG gun and now I'm using some dimensional adhesive for this second Polaroid. And I'm going to attach that at an angle and on top of the other image. And now I'm taking this little stapler this is something I've had for ages and I put two staples in there. And then now I'm taking this sentiment from that same set called Airmail and I'm just using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I just did a test stamp there since it's new and then stamped it there on the side. So I'm just getting my marker here this is a chocolate chip brown and I'm just drawing a line around the outside of that green cardstock. Okay, now I'm doing a little more stamping. This is a chevron backdrops from Mon Fawn and I'm using the same Distress Ink and so I did a generation stamping there stamped it once off on my scratch paper and then stamped it onto my card and so you can see there now I adhered my first stamped image on the top and now I'm just reaching for my twine and what I'm going to do is cut a little hole in the spine of the card and then thread my twine through it and then tied it in a knot. And then now I'm adding a button. This is just a cream button I had using some glue dots. And then where my chevron sort of misstamped, I didn't really like it, so I'm trying to cover it up here. So again, I'm using another stamp from that same set, and this is the map. So I tried stamping it, and then again I misstamped. I was just off today. So I re-stamped again 
to add some more ink and then I stamped again just to add some more distressed look as to make it more intentional. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this card. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.